uh, with the hull itself. You can see the bow thruster down there. Hull's pretty much complete, all the bulkheads are in. Transom, as is at the moment, could easily be reversed. It's pretty well put together. It's the lazarette area, the transom. Looking through into the aft cabin. Large area. We're in the aft cabin area looking forward through to the hallway. This would be the doorway for the shower. Going through this area is where the aft starboard cabin is. That's the walkway up into the saloon. You had have the aft starboard upper and lower here. You can see the port light in the hull. Might be an idea to have a hatch on deck as well, let as much light in that cabin as possible. Coming around, there's the entrance entrance way to the engine room, and this would be the port aft cabin, and the head would be. Coming into the engine room below the pilot house salon, got two Volvo Pentas, 100 horsepower each, diesel tanks, port and starboard. The sole of the upper salon is directly above the tanks, gives you crawling room in the engine room. I'm sure it's going to be a bit tight. There'll be a lot of equipment to fit in here. Space in front of the engines is a little tight once you get the insulation in. Bilges are clean. Um, the generator would sit aft this starboard engine here underneath the steps down into the hallway there. Now looking forward to starboard into the galley area, down battery boxes, central bilge, and across towards the port is a water tank. And this is the smoking room port light to port. I'm looking back through forward in the galley. Now coming forward into the port forward cabin. Port light, good stringers. It's tankage there, I guess grey, black, fresh, I'm not sure what. And forward into the forward shower and head. And coming back and through the bilge in the forward port cabin and across into the hallway and starboard forward cabin and head and shower. Now we're coming out of the forward starboard cabin back into the galley and smoking room area. Galley to starboard and port light there. Across down on the bilge, battery box, tankage, and then back up to the main saloon area. Now to the exterior hull is the transom as it exists. Now, going underneath, you see the twin prop shafts going through onto the keel. Um, none of the appendages have been made yet, um, so or even designed, I don't think. And the bow thruster, looking from the starboard side, it's a tunnel bow thruster. And going back to look at the bow. The bow is actually very reminiscent of a beagle bow. A lot of similarities there. The pilot house cabin sole with emergency exit from the engine room. The deck and pilot house are outside at the moment. Slightly rounded coach house roof. Off deck lazarette access. A 
good protection in the cockpit. All in all, quite a attractive pilot house. Interest to see what it looked like with a, uh, a hard top on the top um, for added protection for the cockpit, maybe a bimini. Clean deck. From inside the coach house, got very good visibility, lots of light coming in. around to where the nav station would be, port light above that. And the underside of the deck, looking forward, galley and cabin area. Into the cockpit where the seating arrangement brings to the end of the tour of the Concordia 70.